Hello, viewers. How are you doing out there? I hope you are doing great. I welcome you back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a construction company logo using CorelDRAW. But before we get the tutorial started, all we have to do is to create a new document. So the document size is 1280 by 720 pixels. So once you are done, then you are good to go. The next thing to do is to go to rectangle tools, drag and drop a rectangle shape like this. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is that you click the middle of the rectangle shape, then come to the midpoint here and rotate it this way. Skew. When you skew it this way, then go back to your pictures to accept it. Now I need another rectangle and you draw it over the initial rectangle. Alright, press shift key and the second uh, shape. Go back to your pick tools, then click on trim. Alright, you delete this one away. The next thing I'm going to do now is to press P to centralize this particular shape. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this particular shape. Press shift key and normal click to drag it out like this. Then place it with right click. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is that this particular shape also I'm going to cut down below here. The edges. Sorry. to cut out portion right go to your click on the second shape and click on trim now we can delete this one away all right so group everything together highlight it this way then press ctrl g to group it together so the next thing i'm going to do here is that i'm going to duplicate this particular shape Go to edit, click on copy, go back to edit again, click on paste, and this particular one we now rotate it to mirror vertical and mirror horizontal. Alright, so I need a guide ruler, drop it down here. The next thing to do now is to drop this particular shape. Down here, made it here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is that group everything all together, right? Press Ctrl J, then press P to centralize it. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is that we can shift and resize with our normal drag, something like this. Alright, and press P to centralize. So the next thing I'm going to do is that this particular shape, I'm going to duplicate another one. Okay. You have to ungroup everything all together first. When you ungroup it, then come to this particular one and press Ctrl C. And press Ctrl V also. Once you duplicate it, then you take it to the top here. Press P to centralize it, then you put your arrow key and you move it to the top. Just like this. Okay. Then you group everything all together like this again. Then press Shift key to resize the shape. Right, and group everything together. Press P to centralize it. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is that this particular place I have to cut it out. Ungroup everything. You all group everything. So we can. We're going to do again. Okay, this one we need to expand it down a little bit. Okay. The next thing we are going to do is that this particular one also we take it up a 
little bit something like this and this one we're going to cut it out here all right so now what we are going to do is that i need some stroke i don't zoom out the entire document go to zoom to zoom it out like this all right so i need some rectangle a rectangle shape Right, after you click on the rectangle, then you now drag, draw, draw the rectangle. All right, so just rotate it like this. Take it to where you, you need it. So I need it here to, to cause a blockage this point okay so I need it here also I need a rectangle again press ctrl D to duplicate this one and I need it here. I have to rotate it. shift key and drag it out like this so we need to create another blockage here we need to duplicate this one press ctrl b take it down here all right maybe that place then I need to cut out this particular place need to cut out this place go to the big tools and click on this particular shape go to trim right and we delete this one away so we need to zoom in and see the entire documents with the minus zoom okay so now what we need here again is another we need another rectangle shape at this point let us zoom out the entire document right so we go to the rectangle tools drag and draw something like this and we need to skew it in this direction so we need to skew it Direction. It up. Okay. Once we are done, we go to the big tools. Okay. And we now drop it here.
okay we can rotate like this go back to the pick tools pick tools take it in like this we need to make it in line with this particular shape so what we can do now is to press ctrl z on your keyboard press ctrl v on your keyboard drag it this way ctrl z and ctrl v another duplicate and drop it here all right just zoom in the entire document and see the hard look of our logo all right let's group everything together so now we have all our sketch complete so the next video you are going to watch as far as this uh, logo is concerned is how we color and how we shape out our entire logo from this particular sketch so thank you for watching see you soon